morning. It has been a while since you've had an angle like this. I am working on a two-tier wedding cake that's been collected tomorrow. I'm not filming this one as a tutorial because it's pretty much a replica of a cake I've already made. This is now sitting in the conservatory. You can see from the sunlight and heat a lot of the colours have faded. Um, I'll also put on screen what it used to look like. The balloons have since gone down so I removed them. Like I said, the colours have faded. But it's pretty much a replica um, with different colours on the bottom and leopard print on the top. I've been sent through some dinosaurs that she has made herself and glittified them and put little hats on them and also some bunting. That's what I'm cracking on with this morning. Um, it might seem like I've left it a little bit late seeing it is, is being collected tomorrow morning but it's not actually being used until Saturday. So this is not something I usually do. I try to make the cakes as close to the day as possible, but they have no choice but to pick it up tomorrow. So that's why I've tried to bake it as late as I can, as if it was gonna be eaten on the Saturday, but I have to have it ready for collection tomorrow. I'm going to be working all day on this. I'll film little bits of me making it so you can see how it's built and I will catch you later on. <laughs> I'm all done, it is quarter past two, so a nice early finish for me. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, it is dino, colourful, disco balls, leopard print. Like I said, the dinosaurs and the bunting were sent to me by the customer, and I have added some disco balls and some like hot pink flowers, um, because she has like a little flower crown lots of colours in it, she's got disco balls going on. So yeah, it's a very colourful, fun day. What I'm going to do is actually take the dinosaurs off. I've pushed them into the icing, um, so it's left little footprints. Um, it's just to make it safer for travelling in the car because they're not actually held down with anything. So these could be taken off whilst in the car and then when they get there at the other end it's a case of just matching the feet up to the the holes in the paste so it just saves any dinosaurs toppling and smashing through the rest of the cake but what I'm going to do is let it dry now and take photos of it later on box it and it's ready for collection tomorrow morning it's the school holidays this week so we've had Abby and Kai off school we haven't had Kai today, he's been off at the Pleasure Beach with his friends um, so Adam's just gone to pick him up from a McDonald's because he's caught. It, they all caught the train to Blackpool so he's just on his way back. Meanwhile, the rest of the three of us have been catching up on The Masked Dancer. Now we were big fans of The Masked Singer and now they've done a dance version and we're about three episodes behind so we've just been catching up on that. But that's me done with cakes now for a week. So I have the week ahead off, or shall I say off cake making. I still have my usual tutorials and things to do but I got the keys to my new studio yesterday. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will already know this because I put a little teaser on there. But what I've decided to do is I've just been updating my brigadiers behind the scenes of all the studio stuff. They've seen what paint swatches I've bought. They've seen paint on the walls. They're seeing my layout plans. They're just getting to see all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, and instead of putting it in these vlogs, I've decided to film like from the start to finish. So it's a whole vlog of its own, straight from a bare shell into the finished thing. I don't know when that will be up because like I said, I've only got my keys yesterday and it's going to take several weeks for like kitchens to be delivered and stuff. So keep your eyes peeled for that. 
if you do want to be super nosy, um, my lowest tier in the Cherry Brigade is just £2 a month and that gets you access to all the behind the scenes where I'm just chatting away. But we're heading to, down there tomorrow um, I'm meeting with a painter so he can give me a coat. I usually do all the painting and stuff myself but because I do still have wedding cakes to make um, from what were booked in last year and rescheduled and stuff, trying to paint in between my other jobs is just going to make the job so much longer it's going to take me so many weeks to get it done so we're just going to see if we can get a quote and see if it's going to make that bit quicker and i filmed the delivery of the first wedding cake of 2021 so we went to i think it was called king street townhouse um in manchester it was up on the sixth floor um and we just dropped the cake off but it was just it just felt so weird to be walking into a room with like tables decorated <laughs> i haven't done that for such a long time yeah that was my first wedding cake this week i've made my second wedding cake and it can only get better from here i don't know when this vlog will actually go up i am i'm no i'm behind i should have vlogged last week for this to go up on thursday and it hasn't done so i don't know whether to try and get this up no, I can't because it's Thursday tomorrow. I can't get this vlog up tomorrow. That's why I haven't filmed enough. <laughs> Ignore me. So you will have missed a whole week's vlog. I've just been busy behind the scenes. Not really wanted to pick the camera up because there's just boxes everywhere. But I thought I needed to make a start. <laughs> Especially with like making wedding cakes now and getting keys to my studio. I don't want you to miss out on too much. But I'm just going to watch a little bit of TV now and I will catch you tomorrow. We are back at the caravan today. I have brought my sealer um, and you might be asking why I haven't sealed it when we found out it had a leak. Um, that's because if you try to fix it yourself I would think that it might void certain warranties. We have since found out the warranties aren't worth the paper they're written on um, because the warranties will only cover water ingress which is where the caravan panels meet so like all around the perimeter um, it only covers those, it doesn't cover windows. So because it doesn't cover windows, um, I can't really make it any worse by trying to fix it because we know now that the windows are going to need replacing no matter what. So even if I mess it up, I can't really make it any worse. So we'll come to stick some sealant around the window, around the hinges, just to see if it stops the majority of the leak because um, there's a lot of water coming in. just been and stopped at screw fix to pick up the last of the paint um, for the past two days Adam's had off work and we've just spent it going around different DIY shops so like 45 minute drive away to home base to collect samples like the tester pots um, then we decided what color to have and then we had to go back to home base for the full size. They've asked me to go and collect some white paint for the roof and white paint for the window. So I've just picked that up from Screwfix and we now have all of the paint ready for them to start on Wednesday. So by the end of next week, the studio should hopefully be fully painted and have pipework for the sink. So that's all we've done today. That's all we've done for the past couple of days is DIY shops and we're just gonna go and get some dinner from McDonald's. Somebody's hungry after pushing the caravan around. We've got a bit of a cooler day today, so we've come out for an hour walk. We have to come out at least once a week for at least an hour, so Kai can do his DUV award. So we found another local walk. We haven't done this one before, but Adam is navigating this trip. <laughs> So, I've no idea where we're going, but hopefully it's taking us the right way. <laughs> I don't do very well with hills, I'm already tired out. But you do get pretty good views when you finally climb them. 
This is literally like five, ten minutes from our doorstep, but never knew there was a walk here before. Come out for a little bit of an earlier walk because they're usually a bit quieter and it's so quiet up here that all you can hear are the birds. Centres up more hills. <laughs> this is a big one. I've no idea where we're going. I hope, I hope this is the last hill. <laughs> I'm not good. That's a bit slippy. You could change it. Your went on your tip, on your <laughs> arm. <laughs> That's over tip than me. We are now an hour and three quarters into the walk. It should have actually only taken us an hour and a quarter and we're not even halfway yet, but this is how it always turns out. I am now navigating because Adam's phone has died. So hopefully mine has enough battery to get us around the full loop as it's a circular walk, but we are actually in the middle of sheep fields at the minute. We seem to now be herding the sheep as they keep going in the same direction where we need to go. We are very, very close to these sheep. Starting to see a little bit of tarmac now, so I think we're nearly at the bottom. We've been walking down hills, down some very steep hills for a while, so nearly finished. Good morning. I am super tired today. We completed the walk, we had pie and chips for tea, and then we sat and watched a film on Netflix called Mitchells vs Machines. That is such a good film to watch as a family if you have Netflix, so that's something good to watch. And we still have yet to see the new Disney film, Raya and the Last Dragon, so we might do that sometime this week. But I'm popping on, it's like quarter past eight in the morning, I'm not quite awake yet, but I walked into the kitchen and remembered I had two boxes delivered last week that I haven't opened yet. 
So these two arrived and I thought, oh, I'll open them on camera. <clears throat> and then I spent most of the time in B&Q and home base and never got round to it. So I thought I'd do that this morning. There's a little red one, a WH Smith. I don't know if this has come straight from WH Smith or have like a postal service. I have no idea. But I do know who it's come from because the return address is on the back and this is one of my lovely brigadiers, Paula. So let's see what she has sent. Certainly been sealed very tightly. Also it's filled with nice red paper and a card. I'll open the card first. I'm pretty sure I have one of these, I think. I keep all these cards and letters and magazine clippings and things like that, I keep them all and I'm pretty sure I have one of these. I'm going to take them to the studio with me, but she's wrote, love watching the progress in your new workspace, can't wait to see it all finished. Here are some bits to add to your collection, love Paula. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, right, so each individual gift has been bubble wrapped. It has been beautifully wrapped. Uh, this is the sort of thing I do. <laughs> I stick stickers on things to explain what the gifts are for. So for all your new contacts. Oh, how cute is that? It is a little cherry card holder. So it pops open and you can put your business cards in. <laughs> how cool is that? And this is gonna, this is the weirdest thing ever because I know this little logo. I recognize that little T. It is a company called Flying Tiger. It used to be called Tiger Tiger and now it's called Flying Tiger. And we don't have one close to us. The stores are miles away. We don't have a local one. So whenever I go on holiday somewhere or we travel somewhere, if they've got a Flying Tiger, I am in there. <laughs> So if you're lucky enough to live near one, you might have been in one and know what they are. It's basically a shop full of novelty goodies that you can't help but leave with a bag of something. We never fail to come out with something from Flying Tiger. And just last night, I was on their website last night because I'm looking for little bits for the studio. I was looking for like some funky tea, coffee, sugar things. Um, wasn't 100% what I was looking for, but at none of the shops I was looking at, like uh, Matalan and Asda, Wilkinson's, things like that didn't have them. And I thought, I know somebody who will have something funky and that's Flying Tiger. So I was on their website last night. I, I don't think they have their full range on there anymore. So I will have to wait until I can get to a, a shop. But yeah, that is so weird because I was on their website last night looking. That's so cute. We've got another one here. So this one says, perfect for your office space. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's the same print, but it's on a different colored background. I adore the blue with the, with the cherries on. I did a cake that was blue with cherries on like that. Oh wow. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my gosh. So you open it up and there's two little memo pads, another memo pad with cherries on and the red dots, a notepad and oh little tiny individual strip notepads, sticky labels. That is adorable. That is definitely going to come in handy and it's going to look so cute on my new desk that I haven't got yet. <laughs> but I'm planning to get one soon. No excuse for your cuppa to get cold, <laughs> which they always do, because I forget about them. <laughs> oh, these bits are so cute. Look, it matches. It's exactly the same print and it's like a little thermal mug. Oh, that's really cool. I know somebody who's going to want to take this from me <laughs> because Adam has an obsession with cups and portable drink drinking devices. Any sort of mug or bottle, flask, he has to have it. He's not having this one, this one's mine. Can't believe there's even more stuff in here. 
This one says, a cool gift, grit, if your ganache gets too hot. <laughs> That's intriguing. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. It is a cherry shaped ice block. We use ice blocks all the time when we're going on our walks or we're going out for the day. We have little mini ice blocks um, to keep our food cold until it's dinner time. So I will definitely be using this. That is so cute. I may, next time I go into Flying Tiger, when I eventually get to one, I think I'm gonna have to pick another one of these up because it's just so cool. I love it. And the last one, oh. Decorate your new workspace. <laughs> this is very similar to my apron that I got bought from Sarah. Look at that. It is very, very close. It is, I can't string it out because it's all tied together, but it's a little string of cherry bunting. Oh, I absolutely love this. I love matching stuff anyway, but that is so thoughtful. Thank you, Paula. I'm going to put all this stuff in my happy box. My happy box is just to the right of me on the floor and it's filled with all the stuff that I've bought or I have been bought um, for my studio. So it's all stuff that I haven't, I've bought it and not opened it and it's ready and new for the studio. Um, one thing that is in this box that I haven't shown you yet is Adam bought me um, a gift for my new studio. I think he bought it early because every single time I have been bought a Disney tradition, it's been a duplicate. <laughs> so if you remember my Ursula up here, I got two Ursulas, two identical Ursulas and I opened them on the same day and it was just crazy. And then I got bought my little thumper. I actually have three little thumpers. Corinne bought me a thumper, Adam bought me a thumper and my mum bought me a thumper so they're all over the house. I have one sat here, one in the bedroom and one in the hallway <laughs> and I think he bought this early to make sure that nobody else duplicated it. But it, it I won't take it out, I'll leave it in um, but you can see the picture on the side there. It's the bunny bouquet which is thumper and little miss bunny. It is super cute. So this one's going in my studio, it's gone in my happy box. Oh, I'm going to put all these goodies in too. And then I have another box that says fragile on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, the wrapping paper. It fits perfectly in the box. I just love this wrapping paper. I feel like I've seen this wrapping paper before, but I can't remember where I've seen it, but it's very cool. Oh my goodness. Right, we've got a card and a letter, I think. Oh my God, I can't read it. <laughs> it is a super long letter, but she said it's an early birthday present and congratulations present all in one. God, Corinne, what have you done to me? <laughs> and there is this little pink card too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God, how cool is that? Wow. That is amazing. Oh my God. Oh, you're gonna have to give me a minute. <laughs> but this has been sent through from one of my other brigadiers. This is Corinne who sent me Ursula. She's one of my original cherry brigadiers as well as Paula. They're just absolutely amazing. I think I've just remembered where I've seen this print before. I think it's Truffle Shuffle because I'm a big Truffle Shuffle fan. And I think that's their wrapping paper, but I'm I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I know what this is. Let me get it out to show you. Check this out. <laughs> it's a Cinderella's carriage teapot, and it makes bibbidi bobbidi brews. <laughs> Corinne has one of these. She posted it in the forum. We have a Disney thread in the in the forum. Of course we do, and it's filled with Disney stuff. And she found this teapot, and her sister got it her for her birthday. Corinne has been nicknamed the fairy godmother in the forum. It's literally that fairy godmother in the background, always sharing stuff. Oh my God, I'm an absolute wreck today. Oh my God, what have you done? 
and she's just the biggest cheerleader. And not just for me, but for all of the members as well. She's there for all the other cherry brigadiers. Right, I'm going to open it. I'm going to pull it out so you can see what it looks like. This is adorable. <laughs> There's the little lid. And the little teapot. I mean, that is just too cute. And then, comes with its little wheels. How adorable is it? I don't think I want to use it, I just think I want to display it. I don't want to break it. Thank you, Corinne. I'm going to put this also in my happy box. I'm also going to have to make another brew to calm myself down for the rest of the day. I have got to do a tutorial voiceover today with a very wobbly voice now. Oh my gosh, that completely broke me. Right, it's a little bit later on now. We're just past two o'clock. I have finished editing the latest tutorial. If you haven't seen it yet, it is this leopard print tutorial on how to paint it. I am here to end the vlog. My camera is flashing at me. I only have one minute of talking space left on the SD card. So I have to love you and leave you and I will see you again in the next vlog.